Thank you, Mr. Vice President. ISHR commends the continued collaboration between the DRC and the Joint Human Rights Office and strongly encourages the DRC to fully implement the recommendations received through the report. Indeed, despite the decrease in the number of violations since February 2019, as noted by the Joint Office, defenders and other civil society actors are still being attacked, intimidated, and threatened. Violent repre repression of uh, peaceful demonstrations is still ongoing. ISHR notes that, regrettably, perpetrators of human rights violations committed during protests which took place between 2016 and 2019 are yet to be arrested or charged. A high number of perpetrators who committed rights violations during the election period are still enjoying impunity. Therefore, we call on the DRC to take all the necessary legal actions to bring them to justice. More recently, on 6 September 2019, 18 defenders were tortured while in police custody. Indeed, they were detained and whipped by the police at the station of the police inspector in Kinshasa. On 9 September, defenders from the movement Lucha were admitted to the hospital after being wounded by police officer in Kananga. Finally, what actions does the Joint Office envisage to take to ensure that the Bill on the Protection and Accountability of Human Rights Defenders currently being reviewed by the National Assembly and the DRC is in line with international standards and does not restrict the rights of civil society? Thank you.